Okay, hello, welcome back. <laughs> um, this actually was supposed to be my third video and let's just say some stuff has happened over the past few days. I filmed an unboxing and then my phone died. This, this phone, it, it, it's a long story. Things are very complicated. I ended up having to get a new phone, which I'm filming on now. Um, so now I have two phones, which this phone will actually come into play in this video for this setup. But I had filmed an unboxing for Stacy Chicago um, little package, and then as well a signed and mix album that I got, which is right here. This is Bay's signature, already put in plastic and everything. Um, so that was really cool. And I also had a small haul as well, but yeah, that's all gone. So it's okay. I am just going to be setting up for a couple of things in this video now instead. Um, like I said, I'm going to be, I'm going to be bringing up um, some things on this phone. <sighs> Sorry about the bird, by the way. Um, I might have to put him away during this video. He's very loud. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to put him away. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. The bird has been put away in the other room. <laughs> so yeah, so like I said, I am going to be setting up for a couple things in this video. I also wanted to, while I'm here, show off my Monster X binder. Um, this binder is pretty gigantic, but it's also pretty empty. I think I mentioned this in my first video. I'm not sure how much I talked about in my first video versus my last one, the one that got like the footage deleted. Um, but I alt Monster X and I alt Stacy and I collect them. But I really just started collecting. This is not something that I've been doing for a long time. I've been into K-pop for a long time. I've been into these groups for a long time. But the actual collecting part is new, new, new for me. Um, like a couple of months. It was partly why I wanted to make this channel so I could see my growth over time and look back on it. So before I set up for... Hyun's come back. Um, I wanted to, I guess, go through my Monster X binder really quickly. I'm just gonna do a small flip through, and I apologize, I'm still trying to figure out this video setup. This is a new phone. Um, we're figuring things out, <laughs> so I'm sorry if it's very zoomed in. Um, but yeah, Hyungwon is my ult but I collect Hyungwon, Minhyuk, and Chungkyun, and I'm collecting for all, like, all their album PCs. As far as anything beyond that, Hyungwon and Minhyuk maybe? You'll see some stuff I kind of ended up with on accident. I'm not really going for it on purpose, but if it came as a freebie or it was really inexpensive, I may have picked it up. But yeah, this is pretty much just the order of, um, era and everything. So this is Trespass. Yeah, so it's going to be Hyungwon, Minhyuk, Chungkyun, and I have everything down the middle. So this is all going to be filled up. It's just not right now because, oh gosh, look at that. Yeah, I don't have um, everything, obviously. And I apologize for the glares as well. I use these like rainbow hollow um, sleeves for Monster X. So it may show up as a glare a little bit. And I'm gonna move this up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I'm gonna flip through. I also do units for some things. And then this Juhan is, is what I pulled in the actual album. So that's why he's behind here. So yes, <laughs> this will be all filled out like one day. And yeah, I am kind of starting with the newer eras and moving back, so I do have more in the newer eras. I'm trying to work my way with the 
the older things. Like this just is nothing. Please ignore the fact that that is just nothing. Um, and I pulled a 1 so that's why he is back there as well. Yeah, this is just, it's so empty. I promise you one day things will be there. <laughs> I promise. And I actually have some uh, Hyunwon and Minhyuk cards on the way that I will do in like a storing video. But for now, you can see that we're starting to get a little bit better <laughs> over here. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just flying through this because this is not the point of this video, but I wanted to show. So again, even though I've said this a million times, like, the ones on the back are the ones that I pulled. So I am really good at pulling Juhan, which is funny because I, I don't collect him, but I do love him. He's my bias wrecker. So, and Kihyun. Very good at pulling Kihyun as well. So, yes. And then this section is kind of just like extra things. Like we have All About Love here. Then I have a, um, some tooth, tooth? I cannot pronounce that. I have this other Minhyuk card and I don't know where it is, which is why this is blank. And then this is some MX agent stuff. I also have Superstar Starship cards from the concert in September on the way. I have a Minhyuk and Hyungwon on the way. Um, and then here for some group cards. And then these are Pobs. So I do have some Hyunwon pobs and some Minhyuk pobs. I believe this is a pob. If it's not, please tell me because then I got scammed. <laughs> I'm not 100% familiar with Monstax lore. And then I have the merch cards from a Geo that I did. I don't even remember what that was technically. I think it was concert merch from the concert at the beginning, like the No Limit um, in Seoul. And then the DVD Kino with all the units I have on the way as well. But that's Monstax. <laughs> um, Monstax to my ults. You will see over time this binder grow. I promise. This is just what I deposited into a gigantic binder. And I will work my way back. I promise. But that is not what we're here for today. Um, also, we have some... <laughs> Just to finish it off on Monster X, we have some larger inclusions back here. Yeah, but that can maybe be another day because today we're doing Kihyun. So I actually didn't have Voyager as well. Like I said, collecting did not really start until recently. We did get information on youth. Um, so I essentially pre-ordered youth on Starship Square on G Market. Um, I compared it to K-Town because K-Town was also doing a fan sign. Wasn't gonna enter that, but I was like, you know, three albums might get me like, I mean, I had it. I've seen people win with <laughs> just a few albums before, but other than that, like I compared the price. I was like, I'll just do whatever's cheaper, K-Town or Starship Square. And then they ended up being the same, but Starship Square just had more benefits. And what I also decided to do was I decided to just buy Voyager as well. Um, Cause I didn't have Voyager. So on Starship Square, Voyager also had its benefits too. So I was like, let me just bulk buy Voyager and Youth. So I'm going to be um, putting in fillers for Voyager and Youth. Um, when I get them, I'll do an unboxing with Voyager. I'm not sure if I'll go through the whole thing because I'm sure Mon Babies have seen that by now. <laughs> like um, some Voyager unboxing. So I might just see what my pulls are. But yeah, I will do that. I have kind of an idea of how I want to lay this out. The nice thing about vying for like a solo album like i'm not looking for any specific cards we don't know what youth cards look like yet voyager we do but like whatever i pull is kihyun so i i'm not looking for any specific cards i know some people are like that with solo albums i'm not so it's just whatever i get so i kind of had an idea that i was gonna put voyager 
here and then Voyager Starship Square benefits were like the pop-out cards and there's three of them. So I thought I would do it like that. And then I had this Keyhan Polaroid from Shape of Love that I had pulled. So I'm gonna do it like that. Um, obviously when I get them and actually pull them, um, I will put them in just whatever order like looks the best. So they might be a little mixed up, just whatever vibes. Um, but this is kind of the idea for now. And I mentioned this in my first video, but I got these fillers from Etsy. They were a digital download and then I printed them on some cardstock and then just wrote on them. So I will be putting these in the corners as well. And then that's going to be Voyager. The Starship Square Benefit pop-outs come with like three message cards as well. I actually don't know what those look like and I might put those on the back, but the way I'm laying everything out, I don't really have room for them. So we'll see how they end up. And this is going to be Voyager. So now we have Youth. With Starship Square Benefits, it was not the pop-out cards. I can actually... This is why I had the phone. I am going to bring it up. <laughs> um, so I bought the set that comes with the three uh, photo book versions and then the three jewel as well. Um, I did not get the Kino. I'm just not really a Kino person. If you were paying enough attention in my flip through, I do have some spots for Kino cards, but like I might just buy the cards and not the Kino itself. <laughs> Not really a Kino person, but let me bring this up. I know that some people on here use iPads, but now that I have a second phone, I'm just going to use this phone. I guess it kind of worked out for me that way. So yes, we have three versions. And then with the photo card, there are eight total photo cards and you get, you know, a random one photo card. So. I have a lotted for three, three photo cards for youth. Um, and then you get this travel ticket as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. And then there's also a pre-order benefit in general. That's a sticker. How big is this sticker? A sticker will probably have to go in a four pocket. I can figure that out later. <laughs> and a mood film photo. I did not really look at the bigger inclusions very much because I was really only paying attention to these, um, the photo cards. And then you have this chance to get a Polaroid. I'm not even gonna like, not even gonna joke around with that. I mean, maybe it could fit in the middle if I <laughs> was one of the people that got that. We'll see. Then the jewel is kind of the same or the same stick. It is um, one out of five. So I'm going to get three jewel photo cards, which I have here. Oh, I'm silly. I didn't plan for this correctly. <laughs> That's okay. I'll have to put it on another page. Um, then the Starship Square Benefits, I'm not sure why they didn't do pop-out cards. They're doing a photo card set. So I believe you just get this photo card set. You just get one set and then you get a photo set. Wait, the photo set is photo card size. Oh, the photo set is photo card size. Okay, so there's six. <gasps> Guys, I did not look at this properly. All right, well... <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this like six pocket type deal uh, here because I just discovered, I'm glad I had that page up because I didn't even realize that the photo set is the same size as the photo card. I thought it was like a postcard size and I wasn't even really gonna 
gonna think about it to be honest um but no it is photo card size so there's six basically six photo cards that you get with it and i'm gonna put that aside because it was messing up with my lighting but yeah i'm gonna do this like six layout here so that these are kind of cohesive and then i'm gonna put the starship square benefits on one page and those are also six so i'm gonna do them in another six layout basically okay now i didn't um <laughs> i'm missing two but i'll know i'll know i will do this like this again i will know <laughs> obviously when i open it and there will be six oops and there will be six instead i will know to just put it here Okay, so that is going to be setting up for Kihyun. We have Youth and Voyager here. Um, I am super excited for Kihyun's comeback. He just incredible. This man is booked and busy this year, like he's doing solo concerts. He had his hamster merch. He had like other stuff, other A, Q, whatever with the photo cards and two solo albums like are you hitting my dude in monster x's comeback and probably upcoming comeback like monster x had a comeback in the spring and they're probably gonna have one in november like this man <laughs> this man so talented he really he really was meant to be a singer um so yes that is monster x complete okay so <laughs> I have something I have to tell you guys. I have something. <laughs> I have something that I have to tell you guys. <laughs> um, you might be wondering, what did I just push away? <laughs> well, in the first video, well, I guess the last video on this channel, I kind of went through my NMIX binder um, a little bit this A5 and I kind of mentioned that maybe I would collect more for them in the future but right now I was sticking to Bay. So yeah um we're I just gotta say it I'm uh gonna collect OT7 and mix now. I need to talk about this. I need to talk about this because I'm gonna set up a binder for this, okay? And you probably already saw it in the title because I'm probably gonna say it in the title that I'm doing OT7 and mix. But listen, um, actually, not to just go off topic, but there's already a change in here from the last video. And I thought that was gonna be the only change, but I'm kind of just all over the place. No, let me talk about it. Um, and mix, I, I don't know what it is. When NMIX debuted, I really liked them. I thought they were really cool. Um, they had a lot of hate. They were very controversial. I will say that the some points of controversy I do agree with, but it was not on the group members. It was not on the girls. It was on JYP. Um, I'm not gonna deny some, some things about their debut that were just messy. Um, and because of that, I kind of held back. Um, but I always loved OO and Tink from the beginning. And then I saw NMIX at KCON in August, KCON LA, and they killed it. They were so good. Um, not only did I see them at the actual concert, but they had a little like selfie MV event thing in the convention hall that I was a part of the audience for. I wasn't close enough to actually be in the video, but I... I saw them and it was really cool. I was on like the very side and yeah, they were great. I, I mean, I have so many good things to say. So when they announced a comeback, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to see if I vibe with this comeback and, and I think I might really dive in. Needless to say, <laughs> 
needless to say, <laughs> I really, 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 really vibed with this comeback. I like the concept of the mix of end mix. I think that's keeping a lot of people away. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm neurodivergent, like ADHD, like whatever. I just really like it. I think it's, it's cool. It's different. It's, I don't know. I love the members. They're all like, God, the chaos. <laughs> My bias line is so chaotic and I love that. <laughs> it's, it's really fun to collect them, like to collect they. And I had such an easy and inexpensive time with Bay that I was like, you know what? You know what? While they're still only at two single albums, I'm just gonna dive in. I'm just gonna do it. Um, so yeah, today we are gonna set up for OT7 and mix. And I did wanna talk about my stipulations with this because it's not a full OT7. So let me just let me just take out the cards in this A5 while I kind of talk about what what I'm gonna be doing. And I also want to start off by saying that like I kind of always told myself that Nmix was not going to stay in this A5. I don't know if it's this binder in particular that I'm not really getting along with entirely or if it's the size of an A5, but I don't know. I'm just not really like into the A5. Maybe if I had like one of those composition binders or something else that I would be into the A5. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I, I'm not really sure um, because I love my A5 wide with Stacy, but I think that's also just a bigger binder. So I think that is different. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just because I knew from the beginning that I wanted to like extend this collection. I think I already wrote out for these actually okay yeah maybe it's because i knew that in my heart that i wanted nmix to be bigger that it just didn't feel right seeing them in a small binder but they're we're gonna set up for for them also this was the pob the pop that i got with the signed album it is from hello 82 uh, when I bought the signed album, it came with the member photo card. I got it from Holly Superstore. I did not get it from Hello82 directly, but I had a really good time buying from them. And knowing that I would get a Bay Pop with a Bay signed album really sold it for me. So I really liked that aspect of it. Um, but yeah, I want to kind of talk about what this um, binder is going to look like. Um, it may potentially hold more than Nmix if I collect a different group or like a group in the future. Um, right now, I think it's just gonna... <laughs> I'm laughing because I change my mind a lot and I get really chaotic and this collecting thing is very fun for me, so we'll see. <laughs> but right now I see it just holding Nmix. Um, so... Yeah, I'm gonna take the rest of these out and then we'll um, we'll go set up the binder. Okay, so um, let's set up for this chaotic decision of mine. <laughs> Firstly, this binder is pretty small. I don't even know, like, like look at that. <laughs> um, this is a binder I picked up at work. It was not being used. It was obviously free because I took it from work. It had some stuff in the pockets that I took out. Um, it's not like the best, but it will, you know, work for now. I would like to maybe eventually move this collection into like um, a binder like this. I really like this, but maybe in a different color for Nmix. Um, but... For now, a free binder from work is going to do, and you know, this collection is still small right now, so it doesn't really need a, a big binder. Um, so that is what it's gonna be. And I don't have any pocket sizes other than this, like, nine pocket. I don't 
know still what I'm doing with like larger inclusions. I really don't even know what I'm doing with larger inclusions with like Monsta X. So for now, we're just gonna put stuff in here and that's gonna be fine. So I wanna talk about what is this gonna look like? Well, something that was holding me back for like a day <laughs> because this is how my mind works. My mind works quickly and if I make a decision, I probably am gonna do it. But something that was holding me back for like a hot second was I have a bay collection and what is a what's gonna be special about that if I just do OT7? I I don't know, with Monster X, I'm only collecting my biases. I mean that's partly because they have so many cards and so many albums, but also just because that makes it special for me. Um I'm obviously doing Kihyun because he has solo albums. Any member of Monster X, any member of any group I love, I'm gonna collect if they have a solo album. But the actual main album part, one of the reasons why I'm only doing my bias line in Monster X is because they're my bias line. So I was like, what am I, what is gonna be special about my ult in this group if if I just collect all of them? And then it came to me something I could do. So I don't know if this is gonna be like this in the future, but right now NMIX have, with their two eras, they have like a limited version of the album and then they have a regular version of the album. With the first era, Admare, it was like a blind package with three inclusions and with the latest era and twerf, it was like a limited with three inclusions. And I was like, you know what? I will collect my bias line for the limited and I will do OT7 for the regular album. And that also is a little bit easier on me mentally and financially to just handle doing OT7 and being able to like do that collection part with a regular album versus if I'm doing like everything OT7. I think that's just gonna be hard in general, like seriously. Um, so. What I'm going to set up for is Limited, Bay, and Jiwoo, and then regular album OT7. So this is also me announcing that I'm like adding Jiwoo to my, to my collection. I kind of already started. I have Jiwoo's Lenti, and I also have um, her album cards on the way from somebody that I bought on Instagram. Um, but those will obviously mix in with my OT7. So I kind of, but then I was like, the Bay is my ult and also Heiwon is on my bias line. So like trying to figure that out. One of the reasons why Heiwon will not be included in my like limited album perch right now or limited album collection right now is because she is a little bit harder and more expensive to find. And I'm still teetering on if Heiwon is like a bias bias or a bias wrecker for me. I absolutely adore her and love her, but I'm pretty certain that like Bae and Jiwoo are like my girls right now. Um, I love them. I mean, my whole bias line is extrovert chaos and I just adore that. But Jiwoo and Bae are at least a little bit easier to handle collecting right now. Heiwon may join in the future. We'll see, you knowing me, that might happen. So I am gonna stop talking and just start doing because this is kind of what I was thinking. So I was thinking Bay in the middle, right? And then because the limited albums come with three things. So I was thinking one of those things I will do Bay, and then the other two will be Bay and Jiwoo and Bay and Jiwoo. And that kind of makes sense to me right now, so. I'm gonna have the lenties on either side. Oops. And then I'm gonna have the limited um, like photo card on up and down. I do not have Jiwoo's blind package other card, so I made a filler for it. Um, but that's what I was thinking for the limited. So then I could still kind of show off Bay in the middle. I also have this. I don't really know where to put it right now, so I'm gonna put it here, <laughs> I guess. That's so, ah, 
oh, that's so nice. You know what? No. I'll put it on the back because, yeah. Oops, I forgot it's like this. I will put it on the back. Okay, that works because that was just like a white back. So that works. Cool. So now we have um, just the regular album. And I'm gonna do age order here. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And that does not, mm, that doesn't land bay in the middle, does it? I'm like doing mental math here. I'm still trying to figure out their age order. I don't think that lands bay in the middle, but I will maybe put bay in the middle anyway, cause she would be right here, which would be close enough. I don't know. We're just gonna put it in right now. We're gonna start with Haywon. It's technically not age order anyway, cause we're starting with Haywon, but she's the leader. So, whatever, man. I'm just gonna have fun with this. I don't know how quickly I'm gonna fill this up. I don't know how priority they are gonna be. Um, we'll just see. I had to get a new phone. I a lot of random expenses came out of nowhere. I was planning on like buying some stuff this month. And it just did not work out. It just did not work out, which is very sad because I did run into some unexpected finances, as I said. So, oh well, it's okay. And then I don't know which version is version one. So I'm just gonna put this one in here for now. I can always switch it. Yeah, so I'm gonna have Bay in the middle. Technically it should be these two switched around, but that's okay. And then I'm going to have this. These fillers on the side. And it's gonna look so good when like I actually have cards to fill it out. But for now, this is the idea, this is the plan. So I'm, I don't know, I'm excited about it. Oh no, this is probably gonna get messed up with the wording. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, so this is version one and version two of their first album, which leads us to Antwerp Era Limited. So I don't have anything, unfortunately, from Antwerp Limited. I'm kind of waiting for a seller on Mercari. Like the way I got my first um, limited like blind box in Ad Mare era is I got a base set from somebody on Mercari and I reached out to this person and I think they're gonna be selling sets again of Antwerp limited so I'm kind of waiting to see <laughs> I'm kind of waiting to see on that um but I will just you know write for it how did I do this I did you here and above yeah well, okay we'll do that Whatever I have to do. Jay was here. And then Bay will be here. And then the card I'm putting in the middle for this era is gonna be that like shadow card. Um, Cause that one definitely is a little bit different than the other two foil cards. So we'll do it like that. Um, also, I did not put little white fillers in the corner here cause I really don't have many of them. I'll leave them. I'll leave them blank for now. It's okay. I gotta get more of that. And then we have our our OT7 album page. This also had jewel case um versions. The jewel case I will do OT7 as well. 
So, gosh, yeah, we'll do, okay. Yeah, let me tell you, I have just been having a great time with NMIX. Um, I'm really excited to be like, standing them. Dice era, and twerf era, cool your rainbow era has been just so fun. Like seriously, it's just been, it's just been such a delight and I'm so proud of the girls. Like they're doing such a great job. They're honestly killing it and um, I don't know. I hope they just get so many wins, so many awards, <laughs> like so much good stuff. I'm so glad I got to see them at KCON. I didn't go to KCON for them. Um, I kind of went to KCON for like a bunch of artists and you know, Stacy's one of my alts, but I'm so glad I got to see them because I really just like, I feel like I liked them even more from that. So I really appreciate that. Now I'm gonna put these fillers in. I also, because this binder has like, oops, this binder has like an insert on the front. I would like to put a cool little collage like people do. So we'll see. Okay, actually for this one in my um, baseline album, I pulled Heiwan, which I'm so happy about because like I mentioned earlier, Heiwan is a little bit more pricey. Um, I'm not 100% really familiar and down with like member popularity and member pricing in this group, but I do know that Heiwan's popular or if she's not popular, her stands have money and her stands just buy her TF out because dang, is she like in high demand and her member pricing is definitely higher. Um, that was one thing that worried me a little bit too, was just like member pricing with collecting OT7. Like, ugh, how easy is it really going to be? Not that like easiness matters because you clearly saw how empty my Monster X binder was. <laughs> like, geez, that's gonna take a while. This is probably gonna be done <laughs> way before that. Um, but I don't know, I just, I'm figuring it out, man. Um, but like, that's all to say that like, when I pulled a Heiwan in that album, I was obviously very excited because I was like, okay, so we don't have to like scour the internet for a Heiwan. <laughs> I'm probably being dramatic. I'm sure she's not as difficult as I'm saying. I'm just, I guess, I was able to get Bay really easily and very quickly, so maybe I got a little too used to that. <laughs> but for the jewel, I got Lily, which I did show off in my last video. Love her. She has pink hair now. And she's so cute. I just wanna squish her cheeks. So talented and adorable. We love to see it. You know, for this, maybe I will do age order because I feel bad that like, I don't know. It's so easy. The switch is so easy. It's not like Bay is the oldest, you know what I mean? Like it's just switching. I'll keep it like this for now. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, so that's everything so far. See, this is kind of why I wanted to do this. Like there's really not that much. It will be attainable. And I'm already very pleased that I've made this decision. And I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I do have Dues and Mare PCs on the way. Um, so that will also already help. Now, this page. I have two pops. I have an Admire Era pop and then my Hello82 Antwerp Era pop. This is going to be a pop page. Um, obviously, right now, it's only for Bay. How do I want to do this? I guess I just will fill this out. Um, I think it would be really cool to have like three pops per era and just kind of fill it out either this way or this way. 
Um, but for now, for now, I'll just put them in here. Oh, so, yeah, that's what it looks like so far. Um, you know, these don't have the little fillers on the edge, so it looks a little chaotic right now, but I don't know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited and, and ready to, to be doing this. Like, I think it's gonna be really fun for me. Um, and yeah, like not with, right now they don't have that much, so it won't be, it won't be difficult to go back. And then I'll have this little binder. Yeah, right now this size is no problem, but as time goes on, it'll have to, it'll have to change. So, okay, that has been a setting up binder video with me. I really hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one.